A case about relief from sanctions, the biggest problem area, uh, who could forget the nightmare of Mitchell. Now, the, the law today is crystallized in the uh, decision of the Court of Appeal in the case of Denton and White of 2014. What I want to do is draw your attention to the best of the three cases that make up the Denton decision. And that was the middle decision, um, a case called Decadent Vapours. And I mention this, this is of course in the context of um, unfortunately a party being in default, uh, part 3.9, and uh, trying to get relief from sanctions. So you could be late with your witness statements, you could be late with your experts report, your budget might be filed out of time. You're in trouble. How to get out of trouble. Denton, I say, is the decision, uh, the lead case, but look at decadent vapours. And I'll tell you why decadent vapours is so important. It's because in that case, the breach, far from being accidental or inadvertent, was knowing, willing, deliberate. Um, the judge had made an unless order requiring that a court trial fee be paid by a specified time, in default of which the claim would be struck out. The claimant solicitor sent the cheque to court through the DX system, and the problem with that is that it was impossible, as he knew, for the cheque to arrive in time. And indeed, it arrived after the deadline had expired, and so the sanction was imposed. So, let us apply the uh, Denton test to the facts of that case. Um, well, was the breach significant? The court thought it important that fees be paid. Two, was there a good excuse? Well, hardly the solicitor had intentionally flouted the order of the court. But three comes to our rescue. At the hearing, which I attended, Sir Rupert Jackson said in two words, so what? The cheque arrived one day late. There was no disruption, they didn't lose a hearing date, and therefore it was right and just to grant relief. And that is a stunning case because it shows that it is possible to secure relief, even though the conduct of the guilty party was intentional, and it's a pretty bad thing to uh, deliberately breach or knowingly breach an unless order. A great, great authority to have always at your fingertips.